Sup YouTube Official Gaming Network and welcome to episode 1 of a Mario platforming side-scrolling game in Java tutorial. Now, as I said in my last video, uh, I won't be continuing the breakout series because uh, I just think it's a little boring and I reckon the Mario, doing a Mario series will be more interesting. So, before we get started here, I just want to say that you don't have to be like all pro at Java and only want to learn like one or two things. Like you can be have like a few years knowledge. You can have no knowledge at all, but that's okay. If you have no knowledge at all, then I'm gonna explain everything I do or explain most of the things I do. But I'm trying. I want you guys to learn instead of just uh, copy and pasting down. For like, I've seen some really crappy tutorials. They're just like, oh, I do this and do that, and that should work. If not, then I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, those are crappy tutorials. I want to actually explain everything in detail to you guys so you can learn. All right, and if you, I suggest you have a bit of knowledge in Java before you start. I'm not saying you have to, but just in case you want a bit of knowledge in Java before you actually start the series. I'm going to give you links in the description to two people called the New Boston and the Java Manual or Mr. Java Help, I don't know. But I don't know, they're really good tutorials and they're really good in uh, giving beginners lessons and they can really give you a head start to Java programming. So anyway, so where we want to actually create our project and uh Open up Package Explorer because it's just very quick and efficient. You can use it to navigate your packages and stuff. So you can navigate your projects. You can see what classes are in each package. I'll explain what a package is later. So ju just in case you don't know how to get into Package Explorer. Uh, hmm. I haven't, I'm not recording full screen, so I'm trying to explain it in the best way possible. So... You want to go to Window, and you want to go to Show View, and uh, here you can go to Package Explorer. You can use Navigator, but I prefer using Package Explorer. Okay, so anyway, let's get started with our project. So I don't want to go in too big at the start. I might be only, I'm probably only going to write a few lines of code. So yeah, I want to. I don't want to go too fast in the programming. I want to just take it easy and explain things in full detail, like I said. Okay, so I want to hit New. And you want to make sure you select a Java project because there's a lot of things there. There's JavaScript, there's millions of things. So you just want to make sure that you select a Java project with uh, this little symbol. I don't know what it will look like on Windows because I'm using a Mac. Oh, anyway, I forgot to mention this. If you don't have the program I'm using, it's called Eclipse. And uh, Eclipse, I reckon, is the best IDE for Java. There's other ones like NetBeans and, or like Java Beans, I think. But Eclipse is the best IDE for Java, I reckon. And not used it. So, yeah, it must be good. So, yeah, you just want to hit Java Project and go Next. I want to give our project a name. So, we want to keep it at Java 1.6. I'm not going to go into... Well, we might do 1.7. Uh, we'll keep it 1.6 because I'm not fully aware of what 1.7 has. I'll look it up because I'm not... I'm not sort of a pro in Java, but... Like, I'm not a pro, like, notch, but I can teach you guys things. Okay, so, we want to give our project a name. And we're going to give it, let's just call it Mario. Because, hey, why not? It's a Mario clone. So right now in Package Explorer or Navigator, you've got a Mario folder. You should have a Mario folder. So you want to click the arrow. And you have a SRC or for source. This is where our packages are going to be. Now before we create a class where we can actually write some code, we want to create a new package. You can either click new Java package or you can just right click on source and go to new package which 
So if you clicked here, then type the source folder will be uh, sort of your project name slash SRC. So if I clicked here, I would have to type Mario, Mario, which is the name of our project slash SRC, which is where we want our package to be stored. So anyway, we just want to type, I'm going to com dot tutor tutorial dot Mario. So you don't have to type that. I can if you want to, but yeah, we're just creating a new simple package. So yeah, com.tutorial.mario. And this can be the main package. There's going to be other ones like graphics and entity and all that stuff. So I'm just, we can do main, but I rather just leave it as Mario without a dot main. So I want it finish. And there we are, we created a new package. Now you might be thinking, if you're new to Java, why are we creating packages? What is the point of packages? And that is really simple. So let's say we're going to have lots of classes at the end of this tutorial if we get around to finishing it. We're going to have lots and lots of classes. But the thing is, we want a way to store our classes. We just don't want to leave them everywhere. You want to make it easier to navigate to your project. So, so this is going to be our main project. This is where our main classes are going to be. And uh, if so, we have a graphics package. This is where our graphics and sprites and all that are going to be. Yeah, it's just an easier way to find what you want to find, and in terms of classes. So, now you just want to right click on com.tutorial.mario or whatever your package name is I want to create a new class and uh, a lot of this is going to be our main class this is where our frame is going to cr be created and our game loop is going to be created I'll explain what a game loop is in future episode not too long from now because game loop is very important so anyway we can either call it main some people like to call it main because it's a main class it's pretty suitable but a lot of people like to call it game I like to call it game but you can name it whatever you want it doesn't matter whatever you name it but when we create game objects in our code because Java is an object oriented programming language we you can't let's say if you name it main and we want to create let's say if you named it main but I named it game and if we want to create a game class, we your if you want to create an object of the game class, you're going to have to use your your name for your class. You can't use game because there's no such thing as a game. You have to use main or the name of your class. So anyway, I just want to hit finish. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. Uh, we're not really writing any code in this tutorial because it's just an introduction to get to get you guys used to it so yeah next episode we might be probably going to be writing some code and uh yeah we'll see how it goes all right if you enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial goodbye